Hi, it's Mrs. Moran, and today we're going to do some problem solving about time. So I want you to look at the clocks on the left side, and let's read the problem, okay? You get up at 7 a.m. for school and leave your home by 7.30 a.m. to get to school. When you get there, your friend asks you, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? What should you answer? So let's review that each time we go around the clock, we skip count by five. So it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that is 30 minutes it takes you to get ready. And we can also look at it with just the number. Sometimes we can solve it without a clock. 7 o'clock a.m. And you're just adding 30 minutes to get to 7.30 a.m. Okay, so let's do the next one. Tony goes bowling on Saturday and he leaves at 2 p.m. and returns home by 9 p.m. How long was he out bowling? So my hour hand, as we remember, is the short one. So here the hour is two when Tony left. Here the hour is nine when Tony returned. So we can go around if we need to. Two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. We had to go around seven times, right? Or we can say 9 p.m. minus 2 p.m. That means we went out bowling seven hours. So he had, to, so we had to go around the clock seven times to get from two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get to nine, or we could just subtract nine minus two. So students from your school visitor museum, they get there at 10 a.m. and they leave at 2 p.m. How long were they at the museum? So let's remember that the a.m. means it's before noon. The p.m. means it's after noon or after 12 o'clock, before 12 o'clock, after 12 o'clock. So let's count the hours. How long were they at the museum? One, two, three, four hours they were at the museum. Okay, let's do the next one. A movie starts at 11.30 a.m. and finishes at 1.30 p.m. How long was the movie? So let's remember that a.m. means it's before 12 o'clock noon. P.m. just means it's after 12 o'clock noon. So let's see. So we go from 11.30 to 12.30 to 1.30. Two times around completely, the clock is two hours. Okay, now we don't always need a clock, right? Sometimes we should be able to try to figure it out with the words and we can write some things, all right? So Beth goes to bed at 8 p.m. and she has to wake up at 3.30 a.m. because she's going to the airport. So how much time did she sleep? 
All right, so we know from 8 o'clock p.m., it's in the evening, to get to 12 is 4 hours. So it's 8 to 9 is 1, 9 to 10 is 2, 10 to 11 is 3, and 11 to 12 is 4. Then we know from 12 to 3.30 is another three and a half hours or three hours and 30 minutes. 12 to 1 is 1, 1 to 2 is 2, and 2 to 3 is 3 plus the 30 minutes. We add them together, the hours, 3 hours plus 4 hours equals our 7 hours plus the 30 minutes. So are these clocks the same? They're both, uh, the small hand is pointing to the 8, the long hand is pointing to the 12, but I see one here says AM and one says PM. No, they're not the same. Eight AM means it's in the morning, right? Morning maybe you'd be going to school or having breakfast or going out to the park to play if it was on the weekends. Eight PM it looks the same on the clock, but PM means you're going to bed, maybe you're going out to see a movie on the weekend, okay? But AM and PM, although it looks the same on the clock, it's very different time. Now let's look at these clocks. How much time has passed? So let's read the clock. This says 7.30 p.m., right? So I know that's in the evening, it's afternoon, after 12 o'clock. And this is 12.30 a.m., so that means it's after midnight, okay? So let's see if I go from, right now it's in between the seven and the eight, so I know it's 7.30. So one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, five hours. Two, three, four, five, five hours. So let's see, what have we done today? We are telling how much time has gone by. Sometimes we're looking at clocks and sometimes we're looking at words and maybe writing down some numbers, but we are figuring out, it's called elapsed time or how much time has gone by either on a clock or based on a problem that we're given. Okay, so have a good time with this. Bye-bye, see you next time.